They had another big third quarter run, but then you guys came right back. What, what was going on there at the beginning of the fourth quarter to kind of swing it back your way? And then just overall, um, I mean, you've got a baby coming, you've got an injured player, you've got all kinds of crazy plays at the end. Just what are your emotions right now? I mean, I mean, I feel pretty, uh, pretty happy with that result, obviously. And um, just so proud of this team, and we, you know, so we're facing a lot of adversity at the moment, and injured players and whatnot. But it shows just how tough minded this team is. And um, you know, the job's not done yet. But like, obviously, in the fourth quarter, we have Diana Trusty, and they don't have to steal on that old Gino. But um, that's what it comes down to. She wasn't, you know, I mean, pretty. I mean, that's our oh, wow. She's done it many, many times. I've seen that coach her for a long time, but. She was dead tired. They were all dead tired. Um, you know, we didn't always execute, but we actually we scrambled enough and we were able to come up with stops. And Diana made shots, and that's what it came down to. So, I mean, very exciting and obviously a huge relief. Sandy, when you guys picked up Shay in the middle of the bubble last season, could you? There's no possible way you could have envisioned what she's meant to you guys at this point, right? What What has she meant to you guys? Well, I mean, she's just really she's resilient, to be quite honest. I mean, she fits in wherever you need her. Um, and you know, tonight I thought she didn't have a very good game in that last game, and she was ready to go. I knew that um, de defensively, but look, tonight she's capable shooter. I think you've seen that when you're playing overseas and. Um, but you know, I think the biggest part of her game is the hustle points. I mean, that's why we won the game because the ball could have gave Vegas some easy baskets there. And then Shay just, she just out hustled them. She'd get on the floor, gave us the ball, gave us extra possession back, and we made plays. And especially with Diana in particular, even with Brittany, there's clearly been points in this game where they look like they were banged up. I'm sure it's you nowhere know, close to 100% with the ones who are even playing. To kind of grind through this game, what does it show about where this team's heart is at at this point? Yeah, and that's why I'm super proud. That's why I said to them after the game, and we had a lot of excuses just to, oh, this is too hard. You know, we're playing against a really, really good team. We have a lot of respect for them, um, but we didn't want to go home. And I think that the resiliency and that's the kind of players that we have, and just stayed together and competed. And some days that works, and some other days it doesn't. Um, but I think, you know, you handle adversity, it shows a lot of, about your character of the team and, and it's led by Diana, but, you know, Brittany was great, Sky did her job, Shay, um, you know, Bri Brianna Turner, you know, even just her defence, you look, okay, she only took three uh, baskets, but that's what she takes usually in a game, you know, some more than others, but just her defensive presence out there and rebounding is certainly helpful. Skyler said number five this week is not beat for number five and six seeds to get to the final. Yeah, it's crazy, eh? And yet, here they are. Um, you have obviously a connection <laughs> going to Chicago earlier this year. It's just what, what are your initial thoughts about playing Chicago and what kind of series that could be coming off this week? Yeah, you know, I think Chicago's playing really good ball, to be quite honest. Um, you know, I've watched uh, a lot of their games before our games. That would be my sit back and chill before getting ready for our game. But uh, I just think they're picking at the right time. And that's what I always say. Championship teams are the ones that can stay healthy. Okay, obviously that's not us at the moment. Um, but, you know, and then they're playing their best ball at the right time of the season. You know, we didn't start off so well. Chicago, obviously everyone picked them to win it, I think. Um, you know, they have talented players, but sometimes it just takes time to gel things together. And I think uh, Chicago, you know, obviously are playing great. They're, they're guards. Um, you know, I mean, they're, they're dangerous, but also they're post players, they're post depth, but they can stretch you out. So they're playing well. You know, it's a big challenge for us, but, you know, we just have to, um, you know, get ready. It's a short turnaround with the Sunday game, and, and they're going to be more rested than us, but we'll get ready and, um, you know, hopefully we'll make this a, it's a, a long, se a good series that uh, we have success and, and win that championship. Just one more thing for me, just these plays that were down the stretch here, there was there was a bunch of them. What stood out the very most to you? Um, like Penny getting the free throw line, the block at the end, um, 
what what was like the thing that kind of pushed you over the edge here? Diana making shots. That's that's what changed it. That gave us hope. You know, we're down by eight, I think, at the start of the third, fourth, fourth quarter. Diana gave us hope. Um, but I thought we played with pretty good poise. You know, we ran the same play twice. We scored out of it twice and we changed it up to a different play. And D made some plays too. So Sky made it with BG twice and then we put it in D's hands. And, yeah, we just played with good poise. And, and that comes from just, you know, developing chemistry. But Diana Tracy, I mean... That was that was pretty big. I think that was the biggest thing for us to get us home, and then we just were able to make some defensive stops at the end. We'll go to Zoom for three questions. Uh, we'll start with Michelle Vopel. Yeah, um, Coach, congratulations to you. Um, I, I, you know, your first year in, in Phoenix, you won a championship. Can you talk about sort of? how tough it is to, to get back and just your, your sort of emotions about having, you know, getting back. And then also, do you think that Sophie may be ready to play in the finals? Yeah. Um, I think anyone that coaches in this league um, realizes how hard it is to win a championship. It's not easy. A lot of things have to go your way. Obviously you need a, a really good team. I mean, there's teams that uh, have the right players and, and, like I said, can stay healthy and pick at the right time and have the most success here. Um, it, it's hard to get here. Like we've been in the semifinals a few times and, you know, it's been a while since we've been back to the finals. So, you know, obviously I'm yeah, super happy. Um, you know, I'm proud, proud of this team because we have faced a ton of adversity. And, you know, Diana didn't play 16 games this year. You know, it, it shows, you know, what happens when she's on the court. I think we're 12-4. Um, that's how special she is, and um, we knew if we could just get healthy, get her back, good things would happen. So it, it, it's great. I'm, I'm really excited, not just not for myself, but, but for Diana um, to do what she's done and keep doing it at the age of 39, but for every single player in there. And, and the ones, you know, Kia Nurse too, and that was great. We FaceTimed her after it and so much excitement there. So uh, the job's not done yet, but it's a relief just to get here, have another opportunity to try and win another championship because it's it's been a few years. Um, in regards to Sophie, she is getting better and better every day. Um, I'm unsure of if she's available Sunday, but she'll definitely be available by hopefully Wednesday. That's probably me. I probably should talk to the medical people first. <laughs> Hopeful. Our last two will be with Jackie Powell and then Michelle Smith. Hey, Sandy, congratulations. Um, I just wanted to build off of Alex's question a little bit about Che Petty. You know, being down so many small forwards right now, explain to me what you said to her, you know, being in this situation and having to step up. What was that conversation like? She's just, look, she's just tough-minded. She's 33 years of, of age, so she's not, she's been around a while and, and um you know, we were just so impressed with her when we got to the bubble last year, just how, you know, her basketball IQ, but just how how tough she is, how she grasps concepts and schemes that we wanted to do and just to, she'll do anything to win. And uh, She's just got a really big heart and, um, you know, defensively she certainly helped us tonight, but, but also, you know, she scored 15 points, so that will be 15 points for us. And, and this is a great story that needs to be told because she wasn't in the league till probably at the age of, what, 31, um, you know, and, and coming in as a 10-day player and getting cut. And, and this is about resiliency, going overseas, continuing to get better and, and, and making the most of the opportunities when they're presented. You know, there's a, a few other players out there, but uh, I think Shay, you know, you got to dare to dream. I mean, anything can happen if you keep putting hard work in and, and you know, just land in the right spot. And we're very happy that Shay's on our team. We'll end with Michelle Smith. Sandy, Skylar's going to make her first trip to the finals. And I know she's been really, really hungry for that. When you have an elite player at that level who's that hungry to get to this point, how much does during the course of the season and even in this postseason, does she pull people along with her emotionally with that hunger and that drive to get there? Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. You know, I think I think in the last game, Sky was probably pushing it a little bit too much because that you know that we would win and we didn't have our last game. Uh, the last game was terrible for us. We didn't execute much. We didn't have much energy. And you know, today it's more like you know it's a single elimination. We actually played pretty well in those games. And 
I know Sky just, you know, I said defensively, you've got to lock him down there and still get two feet in the paint. I thought, you know, she has 14 and 8 tonight. I mean, you know, I'm so happy for her because this is why she came to Phoenix. That's why we bought her to Phoenix. She wanted to win a championship and uh, we were surrounding her around, you know, Diana and BG, they complement each other so well. And, um, you know, I think I've seen Sky grow as a, a, as a player and it's been really fun to watch. I've, you know, I have a great relationship with her and just how she's connecting to her teammates and, um, you know, that passion, that helps. You know, that's what you need. You know, she's got that and, and that can, you know, when you're tired, it can just lift someone else. And she's been great for us all season long and um, continues to get better and better. So really excited, you know, for the first time as going into a WNBA final because, you know, it's hard to get there. Thanks, Thanks guys.